Hey y'all, and in this week's lab we will be explaining and comparing how an observational experiment can be compared to a computer model to demonstrate constant velocity of a system. The goal of this experiment was to track if we could create a system with a constant velocity through a practical experiment and then compare it to a computer simulation that should have a true constant velocity. And constant velocity is defined by simply having no net force. It means that an object is moving from point A to B in a system with no acceleration. It's not speeding up, it's not slowing down, it's just moving at a constant rate. And it's super simple to model, but in practice it's actually a little bit more complicated because of the natural forces that a computer can just cause, negligible. And in this experiment, uh, in order to do it successfully, you needed a tennis ball, at least from my experience, a video camera, a flat surface with a type of minimal friction resistance, and then for our computer, which I'm actually filming this on, you needed a tracker software, a GlowScript program, and an Excel or any type of data processing unit, whether it be uh, Google Sheets or anything of the sort, just to make sure that you could run the data properly. So while working on this, we have the original video that we created. And as you can see, I have kind of a point A marked from here with this stylus and then a point B. So everything before this, it's actually accelerating it because we're placing a force on it. And the reason why you can't measure that is if there's a force acting on it, then it is accelerating. It's therefore not a constant velocity. That's why the only part that we're measuring is from this point to this point. And then after that, it went out of frame and it did start to slow down. The video itself is simple. The ball moves uh, in a constant velocity from point A to B. And just to run through it once more, it's going relatively in a flat line. So that means that we could put it into our tracker software, which looks like this, and then you can run it with this. So we use the auto tracking interface, which it puts a point on the ball, or at least an object in the frame, and it matches that color as it moves throughout the entire frame. And on the right side of the screen, you can see that at every point in time on the delta t, which is on the x-axis, it then corresponds to a point that we created on the y-axis of position. So we told the computer that this is 1.35 meters across, which it is. We did that in our calculations prior to the experiment. And therefore, it's going across knowing each scale at every given time. It then gives us these data points and then the data points, in case we don't want to use their graph, can be placed into Microsoft Excel, as I was mentioning. And that's right here, where we have t, and time is always going to be on the x-axis as the dependent variable. And then position, or x-displacement, is going to be on the y-axis. So here you can kind of see how the line of best fit actually isn't absolutely perfect, even though it has no exponent, therefore it's a straight line. It doesn't fully line up. There is some R values that don't line up, and here you can see the curve a lot better. And that's simply because in practice you cannot get the perfect constant velocity no matter how hard you try. That's why we use the computer-based model, which looks like this on glowscript.org. So here we had to adjust the time frame, which was 1.9 seconds, uh, at the rate we wanted it to execute as, the ball's velocity, and of course the vector it's moving at. And even here um, on line 16 through 18, we actually adjusted it so when it ran the program it would look more like a tennis ball. Just some personalizing that makes the experiment a little bit more fun. So in this top bar, we can see that it moves uh, across, and that's just its demonstration of what it did on the table but here is the perfect graph, the model that we tried to create a mimic of. And of course, the reason why we couldn't execute it perfectly was, as you can see just by the original video itself, there's a difference in camera angle, there is imperfect cropping, and in the tracker software, like I mentioned earlier, it's looking simply for a specific position that just cannot be mimicked as the color is not perfect lighting. 